Um, what do you reckon your biggest influence over life was, be it music or anything? Most my music, my musical influences like my drummer guys that I'm really into are Lars Ulrich, uh, uh, Vinny Paul, Nick Menza, uh, Mike Portnoy, uh, Neil Peart, Joey Jordan. Um, it's just to name a few, you know. Uh, Dave Grohl. I, I've gotten a lot of inspiration from basically all those drummers. Other than that, I mean, inspiration-wise, I mean, most of my band inspirations are, are bands that those drummers play for. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, you get a little, you get inspired from, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily musically inspired from, say, I'm listening to a country song and say, you know, a cool, there's like a cool melody or say there's like a cool vocal line or, you know, whether it's country or rap or whatever. You know, that, could, that can be inspiring to me. Um, you know, inspiration comes in, in many different ways. So it just, whatever hits me at the moment or whatever I'm into, you know. You can never, I never plan it out or I never look at something and go, I got to listen to this because I really need to be inspired. It, it just happens, whether, I, you know, whatever I'm listening to or whatever circumstance I'm in. Nice. Got a, a weird question for you. My mate decided to help me out with this one. If you were stuck in a van for three weeks with only four albums to listen to, what would they be? If I was stuck in a what for what? In a van for three weeks. And if you only had four albums to listen to, what would they be? Um, the Metallica Black Album, uh, Megadeth, Rust in Peace, um, probably any of the Brooks and Dunn albums. And I'd say the whole entire box set of Leonard Skinner. Isn't that shading? That's like 10 albums. Yeah, but hey, man, it comes in one box, so that, it's considered like one album. That's true. <laughs> now, I got a quick one. Uh, you got a live DVD in the works, maybe? Uh, we do have enough material to definitely do about six or seven of them, uh, but we're, we're, we're holding off. We, we've kind of talked a, a little bit about doing one, but we're not sure if we're going to do one for Shogun or not. We're, I don't know. That's my answer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick tip. Do one in we've Sydney. The fans it. are the best. We, we've talked about it, but we really haven't gotten over... The, we really haven't gotten past talking about it. We've talked about it enough about it. I'm looking forward to that. I can tell you that. Um, video games. Do you play any? Um, I actually don't really play too many of them, to be honest. Matt is our really big gamer guy in the band. Um, actually, the only console I even own, like video game console I own, is a Super Nintendo. <laughs> And I only own one game for that. It's Mario Kart. It's like the only game I'm good at. <laughs> no, so no, no I guitar. I kick anyone's ass at Mario Kart. Um, but I'm actually not too... I, I, I'm not really... I never really played too many games growing up either. I've always been more of like going outside and canoeing or <laughs> shit like that, being outside. <laughs> going surfing or something like that. Going dirt biking. So my, my, my video game is real life. <laughs> awesome right that's that's about it man oh cool man thank you very much for that man I hope to see you in Sydney when I come down for the show in around May yeah for sure dude thanks again man bro you take care